welcome to our lab at home. This is involving our plate tectonics. And we're at procedure number one. I've got my whipped cream that's about a centimeter thick. And if you don't have whipped cream, you could use pudding or icing, something that will move easily. Then you take your graham crackers. We're in part one of the procedure. And we put them down. It said make sure that they're touching. And then you push gently down and pull away. And take note of what's happening. What do you notice is happening with the whipped cream? Did it stay in place? Did it pile up in the center? Or did it get pushed out? And you can see a little bit here what's happening. So as we're pulling it away, what is happening? And then you can do your second part. So I get a clean plate and it says spread enough whipped cream to make at least a centimeter thick layer. And of course the best thing about this lab is you get to eat it after. And then you take another set of graham crackers set them so that their edges are touching and you put them on top of the whipped cream now oh, I skipped to number three let me skip to number two sometimes that happens if you're not careful you got to dip these in the cup of water the edges here okay so I've dipped them in water and then I push the two edges together. And what happens? What do we notice what happens right here? Whenever we've dipped those edges in water and we pushed them together, what happens when these converge? Okay, so let's look at the third part. So for the third part, again, we start with our centimeter thick of whipped cream. And we get our second set of graham crackers side by side on top. And it says to put them together firmly while pulling one towards you and pushing one away. And what happens? So as we do that, what's happening? And you can hear some, some grinding noise as you do that. So as you push it away, and you can kind of see here what's happening in this one here, because you're doing it firmly. So something is happening. Take note of that. Now, I'm going to do one bonus activity that you are not asked to do. I just want to do it just to give you an example. So. Again, I'm going to start with my layer of whipped cream. And I'm going to have a marshmallow and a graham cracker. Now, we know that there are two different types of plates. We have our oceanic plate, which tends to be thinner than our... Um, than our continental plate. Our continental plate is thicker. So as we push them together, what happens? Notice what happens. We have this continental plate going over the, um, the oceanic plate. Now typically it's called subduction where it goes in underneath and it goes below. So this is the best example we could show you, but um, with, of course, foods that we could eat. But I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see that subduction with the marshmallow and the graham cracker so that you can see what that actually looks like. So whenever you have your, um, your two plates, your oceanic plate and your continental plate, the oceanic plate 
is subducted underneath the continental plate.